Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, I'm Shami or I am the girl who travels because I used to do travel vlogs but I can't really travel right now because there's a pandemic. So anyway, today we are going to film or to talk about my top 10 2020 Korean dramas. And yeah, if you want to know what made it, which dramas made it to my top 10 of 2020k dramas, just keep on watching and make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel. Okay, so let's go. Alright, so I've been wanting to film this before the year ends, but I was afraid that I'm gonna miss some dramas that's still coming out late 2020 so I postponed it and filmed it now first week of the 2021 or of the year um, 2020 has been a bad year for all of us but it's one of the best years for the Korean drama I think um, I can compare 2020 to 2016. 2016 was a year of good Korean dramas if you remember Descendants of the Sun or Scarlet Heart Rio. Was it Reply 1988 or almost yeah, Reply 1988 also was also airing in 2016 something like that so yeah 2016 was a good year for korean dramas and then there came 2020 so without further ado let's go to my number one my number one would be startup so startup aired late in the last quarter of 2020 i think september or october and um, I said that wow, this is a really good drama just after watching the first episode because when you watch Korean dramas, you usually have to give it time like one or two episodes before you can say that it's really good. The first and second episodes are usually like so-so or boring so you have to give it until episode 3 to know it's good but start up shook everyone on the first episode i think everyone cried their eyes out like i didn't expect that i'll be crying that hard on the first episode because the trailer was just about business being ceo and episode one was all about their family and stuff like that so um, I could fully relate to startup, but not the technical terms. If you don't know yet, I actually own a traveling tours business. It's called WWTT um, Working Wonder Traveling Tours, or on Facebook, it is known as Weekend Warrior Traveling Tours. So if you haven't liked it, I will put the logo here or the link to the Facebook page on the description box. So um, I could relate to the risk. To all the hardships of being a startup CEO especially that I wanted to do everything on my own I didn't trust other people to do anything for my business so I learned a lot in the business side and of course I enjoyed the love story and yeah we were all rooting for Han Ji Pyong the second lead but we all knew it's not gonna happen yeah it will still be Dosan okay so so much for start up number two oh my gosh i was so surprised that this um became included in my list number two will be sweet home so this yeah this was shown on netflix december 17 or 18 and i am not the kind of person who watches suspense or thriller or horror shows because it haunts me and i get stressed for all the suspense um suspense scenes i can't breathe i get so nervous and i kept on imagining monsters or ghosts whenever i'm alone that i can't even go to the toilet alone so i avoid that kind of show or genre but Sweet Home kept on popping on my Netflix news, um, feed and my news feed on Facebook too. And I just love the cast, Lee Do Hyun and the girl from Okay To Not Be Okay. I love the cast so I said, okay, let me give it a try. I watched the first episode and then I couldn't stop watching it. 
um, there are 10 episodes, one hour each, and I think I watched the eight episodes in one sitting eight hours straight i slept at 5 a.m and i finished the last two episodes the next day so it was so good i mean what's good about korean horror thriller dramas is that the ghosts the monsters are not that scary especially that sweet home is based from a webtoon it's originally a webtoon so you can see that the monsters are not that scary some are funny but yeah the suspense parts made me nervous and made me stressed um yeah there are there were casts that you you were really sure in the first episode that they're bad characters but later on turned out really good um people so Sweet home, wow, oh my gosh, I can still feel um, the the suspense, the thrill of watching that show that when it finished, I was like, oh, I want more, like, what's the next show, what's the next drama that I can watch that has the same genre, like, I don't even like that genre, but I wanted more. I think I can compare it to um, Kingdom and Parasite, yeah. Okay, number three will be Crash Landing on You. The first few episodes were like cringy for me because of Song Ye Jin. I had to really emphasize how rich she is and the um, paragliding. Was it paragliding? The paragliding scene was so unreal. It's so fake. So it was quite cringy. But later on, while wow, the drama turned really great it had the mr sunshine and descendants of the sun feels because um the main character hyun bin is also a soldier and yeah they turned out to be a real couple so congratulations that's my number three okay number four will be romantic teacher dr kim the first one was really really good so everyone expected that the second one will also be good um i also love the cast E sung kyung personally and so yup not that much but yeah he's handsome um it had the same feels but when it comes to the story it, i was just a little disappointed that E sung kyung became like not a lead character she I felt like she became a supporting character to An Soyeok. So, unlike the first one where um, the female doctor do almost dominated the whole drama, so this time Lee Sung Kyung was not was not a very strong um, character in the second one, but it was still good. Of course, because they pay extra attention to the backstories of every patient, and I think that's what makes it good. Um, number five will be hospital playlist um, because it's from the maker of Reply 1988 so I'm pretty sure everyone expected it to be good so yeah I was expecting it to be like Reply 1988 but the first few episodes I felt like mm, it, they're really trying hard to um, they're trying hard to build the friendship of these doctors but it's Still not to the extent of the friendship of Reply 1988 characters. You're going to think realistically, um, doctors won't have time to practice at the same time. Like there are five doctors and the show, um, the drama show that they're in demand doctors. So yeah, but they showed good friendship and beautiful music. Um, the actors are so great. So I loved I loved it yeah okay and number six will be it's okay to not be okay um, this drama shook everyone with how daring common young is and of course um, everyone expected Kim Soo Hyun to be good because he's really a good actor that's why he only has a few dramas because aside from his expensive talent fee um, his performance is always the best so um, I think what everyone loved about this drama is the way they dealt about mental illness that the main character even worked at a mental hospital the, and it makes people understand um, 
people mental illness more that we should not be afraid of them we should not be scared of them or that we should not treat them um, differently because they, they are still capable of doing things um, number seven will be the king eternal monarch um, if you if you've watched my other vlog the no offense but I didn't like these dramas um, I am really not I was not a fan of Lee Min Ho because I just I don't understand what people see in him why is he so handsome to others eyes but this drama opened my eyes and made me see what other people see in Lee Min Ho he's really good and Kim Go Un of course I watched it I love Kim Go Un so I watched it for Kim Go Un not Lee Min Ho but their chemistry was so real and especially when you're following them on Instagram you're going to think that there's something going on more than just um staring in the same drama yeah i'm still shipping them and i was expecting i wanted them to be the dispatch new year couple but it turned out it's sonia jing and hyun bin so their chemistry is so good the story will make you crazy because there's time travel and like two worlds but you just somehow enjoy the show and the acting was also good all right number eight hi by mama it was shown early 2020 and um everyone was posting that uh, they cried a lot and i chose not to watch it real time because i don't like crying a lot that time it was quite a stressful period for me and i choose what i watch depending on my situation so if i'm in a very sad or depressed state i watch very funny dramas and when i feel like i want to cry and i'm ready to cry then i watch um dramas that i know will make me cry and that is hi by mama of course i mean um i think i don't need to elaborate it but it's the comeback drama of kim tae and she's still beautiful but yeah she is now a mother and you can obviously see it on her mm. yeah the other actors around her were so good especially his husband and family and friends okay so number nine this just came out it's true beauty cha onu and um, moon ka young um i thought it'll be just another cringy rom-com drama that has no depth but um yeah i just watched it and it turned out to be so funny it's not just a romance drama it's so funny like i laugh there were scenes that are like white kiki scenes and if i say white kiki scenes it's too funny it relieves your stress and you can't believe like there's a scene where um the girl was eating lamyon and the lamyon came out of her nose like how can they do that so um it's still ongoing i haven't finished watching it and it could turn out so so in the end but i'm enjoying it okay so number 10 will be i think not a lot of people know this but there's the school nurse files on netflix it's also king um it was nam joo hyuk and i forgot the name of the female actress but um it has a weird um a weird theme or a story like there are also monsters but the monsters are so cute they're like jelly candies like that and she has to kill them or to to protect the students or the school from those monsters it's uh, um it's good because i can say it's good because i finished watching it in one sitting i think the episodes were quite short like that and there is another one in my number 10 that's my holo love it was also shown on netflix it has a theme of ai yeah but i'm not going to elaborate anymore um i watched other dramas but i'm also i i'm going to say all the dramas i've read from those i mentioned so that you will also know what are the dramas that i didn't watch that's why it didn't come out in my list okay so other dramas that didn't make it to the list dodo 
Sol Sol La Sol, Mystic Pop Up Bar 18 again, Uncanny Counter 81 Class, Rec Record of Youth, Meow the Secret Boy, When I Was the Most Beautiful, Soul Mechanic or Fix You, and Kingdom. So if I did not mention in tit a title of a drama like The World of the Married, everyone watched it. I didn't because I know I'll feel stressed and so angry while watching it. So yeah, if you st also have recommendations of dramas you really liked in 2020, just comment below. I'll make sure to watch it. So yeah, I think that's it for this vlog. If you have any questions, suggestions, or recommendations, just leave it in the comment section and I'll see you in the next vlog.